Hey guys, so a lot of you will know that I have a Harry Potter room, a room in my house which is just dedicated to Harry Potter merchandise and things like that. I have done videos on this before, a lot of videos on this before, but seeing as it's 2018 and we've got a, new, a few new subscribers to the channel and because I have updated the room, the layout, that kind of thing, I thought I would do another updated Harry Potter room tour. So this is my Harry Potter room 2018 update. So first off we have the door and just to put it into context we are upstairs in my house over here is my actual bedroom which I have done a room tour on before and this is the Harry Potter room at the back of the house so we have this Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets door poster which I bought on eBay I can't show you it in full because I'd have to uh, walk halfway down the stairs for that and then this is the Harry Potter room which, like I've said, a lot of you guys will have seen before. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm just going to get on and show you the room. So this is a quick overview of the room. And then we'll go through it in more detail. So starting off at the door, we have some floating candles that I made myself. We have this Waterstones Harry Potter thing, cardboard thing. We have some posters. We have some of the mystery mini kits. No, not mystery mini kits. Sticker kits. <laughs> down here with some artwork, that kind of thing. On the floor at the minute is um, some Buffy the Vampire Slayer items that I'm selling that I just don't have room for anywhere else. Then this is the actual door with some more posters on it, things like that. And I have this weird shelf thing up there which is really small that I haven't actually managed to put anything on yet. And then this is my only movie poster, big movie poster that I have from my local cinema. Coming down we have like some figures on the walls, some more posters. We have my chess set. There's some bits down here that I haven't managed to find room for yet. We have some more bits down here again that I just haven't got room for. This is my Cursed Child setup. So this is my complete Cursed Child collection, which I've done a video on before. Then up here we have some studio tour bags, some mystery mini boxes. This is my action figure cabinet with the majority of my action figures in, but not all of them. Again, I have done videos on them in the past, but I might do an updated action figure collection because I haven't done one for a while. Then we have my Dobby from the studio tour, which my mum bought me, some more figures. In here we also have some of the gacha balls, which you can't really see. Then down here we have a Cursed Child bag, and it's going to be a bit dark down here. But we have a play set and some more figures. Then down here we have a poster that I haven't managed to put up yet, some other bits like a, a folder, a binder. Lucius Malfoy's cane, we have my signed poster. Sword of Gryffindor, another studio tour bag, and just some more random bits on the wall. More action figures, posters, that kind of thing. Now this is my cups and mugs and some sweets, some lollipops, glasses, cutlery, all that kind of stuff. Down here we have, it's very, very dark, but we have some Royal Dalton plates at the back. My Nymphadora Tonks DIY trunk, which I've done a video on. My wireless keyboard and mouse set a random studio tour book that I haven't got any room for and then this is the bulk of my wand collection so most of these wands are replicas like fake I mean but the Nymphadora Tonks and the Professor Snape are real there from the studio tour we have a random candle down here we have a lot of bags <laughs> A lot, a lot, a lot of bags. I keep every single Harry Potter bag. And in this one, I'm not going to go through it, but we have Primark tags. Basically, I am very sad. And I keep all of my gift tags and things like that. And then on the floor just here, it's a little bit of a mess because I haven't cleaned up. But we have some random wallets for autographs. Some autographs I'm selling just down there. And an autograph that I have yet to put away. Then we have a random tote bag here. Primark I believe. There's another tote bag down there in the corner. Down here is all of my miscellaneous autograph things including my EastEnders autograph folder, my Tonner doll box. This box here is full of all of my Harry Potter magazines which I've done videos on before. Moving up we have the drawers. Now this one here is filled with Primark and other Harry Potter pyjamas. This one is all my paper-based bits, magazine clippings, newspaper articles, all that kind of stuff. And this top drawer is filled with Harry Potter socks and uh, underwear, I think. Then we have this section, which has some plushes, my Voldemort Tonner doll, some more uh, action figures, bits like that, some key rings, just some random bits, my mud in my blood candles, 
some other bits and my prized possession, my authentic JK Rowling autograph. Moving up, we have, well I'll start here, we have the badge, complete badge set from 2001. Just there. Up at the very top we have all of my Harry Potter Funkos with a few dolls and things like that. This isn't the complete collection of Harry Potter Funkos, just the ones I own. With the key rings, some of the key rings, my Fantastic Beasts Funkos, I really need to sort that bit out with a plate at the back. Then this is Mystery Minis, Rock Candies, two Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them ones, some other little bits scattered about on the shelf. Then we have some more Mystery Mini bits, the complete collection of the Magical Creatures, Wave 1 and 2. I don't have the Fantastic Beasts ones yet. My Bellatrix the Strange Dagger, which I love. The Gringotts coins, some other little bits around here. My Bellatrix action figure. Then we have my homemade Death Eater mask that my dad made. In here, we have some sweets and my prop orange, which has come direct from the set of the films. You can't see, but behind there, there's loads, chocolate frogs, all that sort of stuff. More sweet bits. Again, I've done videos on my sweets. Then we have my CDs with my Harry Potter spoons. I don't know why they're there. And then we have the audiobooks, both cassette and uh, CD. I don't have a full collection. Then we have some random miscellaneous bits here, biscuit tins, um, chocolate frog boxes, a, a game. Then we're on to, oh, of course there is a broomstick there as well. Then we're on to the bookcase. So up there we have my gentle giant busts, which I love. Hanging Hermione, more bags. Then this is my books, Harry Potter books. Again, I've done videos on them before, so I'll just do a quick overview for you today. More books. Then we move on to the video games. I've almost completed my collection of every single video game, but of course they're bringing more video games out this year. And then moving on to the films. I have lots and lots of different copies of the films and VHS tapes, way more than is necessary. <laughs> more books and, what do you know, more books, along with two copies of Book of Spells, which realistically I don't need. Then moving on over here, we have another poster, another poster, some more random bits on the wall. We have my Harry Potter pillows, there's a Slytherin one behind there, the nine three quarters one. Some more pillows, my sleeping bag, which is chilling on a chair. Then we have this section, and in the box is my Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them collection. Once again, I've done videos on that. We have a random pyjama set, which I haven't put away. It's just chilling on my floor, and a random t-shirt. Then we have this corner, which is very dark, I'm afraid, but we have my Slytherin poster. All these kind of bits, uh, there's just miscellaneous bits here, so I won't talk about them too much, but you've got action figures, notebooks, toothbrushes, toothpastes, uh, bubble baths, uh, all sorts of bits. These drawers have my trading cards in, so that's full of trading cards, that's full of trading cards, and this bottom drawer is just miscellaneous items full of like pencil cases, notepads. Then we're on to my wardrobe. So at the top we have a full collection of plushies. You can't see most of them because they are hidden at the back. Some board games, bits like that. Then we have my wardrobe door, which I will open out for you. And in the wardrobe is a few of my Harry Potter clothes, but not all of them, including some of my prized possessions, which are these uh, clothing pieces that were actually worn by Hermione Granger in the film. They haven't come from the film set, they're just uh, the exact copies of what she wore. And then further down, this needs sorting because it's full of bits, but if you see this Primark bag just here, that is full of Harry Potter clothes. Onto these drawers. If you're familiar with my autograph collections, this is where they're housed. So at the very bottom here, at the minute, we have Game of Thrones, True Blood, Buffy and Gotham. Up here we have the Harry Potter autograph folder and the miscellaneous autograph folder just down there. And then up at the top here we have all of my jewellery and makeup bits. So this lunchbox here is filled with badges. Again, I've done videos on them all. We have my makeup brushes. Those two pencil cases are filled with badges and key rings and earrings and necklaces. This is full and all bits like that. Then we have this, which has my mirror on it, and I'm in my pyjamas, so I'm going to be careful not to show myself. Um, more badges, you can kind of see me in the mirror. 
other bits on here, card games, uh, top trumps, all that kind of nice stuff, and the Harry Potter bunting. Then we have this little section here. And finally, we have this section here. She's just got random bits on it. On the floor just there are two um, notebooks that I'm using for Harry Pottery bits. So that's a brief overview of my Harry Potter room and my Harry Potter collections. If there's any updated videos that you guys would like to see, please let me know. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.